This is Joey Delgado back again for the finals. We've got uh, in black, we've got the, uh, Till the Cows Come Home. They uh, took the first game today, uh, winning it pretty easily. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Uh, actually, it was kind of, they were in control for much of the game. Um, they wound up taking a two goal lead late in the third period. Um, held on and uh, Watts scored again here in the top right corner, 4-2. to two. They're playing against the Squirrels, uh, a team of um, kind of a, a, a mixed group of veterans, some good top-end talent that uh, played uh, maybe just about 50 minutes ago. They're the ones who won easily today, uh, winning 7-5, to five, but uh, they were pretty much in control right uh, after about the 10-minute mark of the first period. They took a four-goal lead, I believe, after the first period and kind of coasted the rest of the way. Now they're matched up here, and we get the start off, and uh, Colvin from the Squirrels gets it over to over to uh, Parsons. The big wind up, the nice save by Seto with the with the right pad. He sticks that one out there. The rebound out to Colvin. Here's Parsons, and he calls himself a homo as it goes all the way back down the other way. Toll out to Parsons, and uh, he sees Colvin and elects to shoot it again and again. It's right on the pads. Seto struggling a little bit on the rebound there, but he hangs on. Number 22, Trista, making a, an appearance today. Uh, didn't play in the first game, uh, was flying in, and um, is now here. Uh, the black team, the Cows, should be the better rested team. Not sure that that matters much uh, at this point, but uh, it, may ma it may account for something as, uh, as the game wears on. In any case, the face off deep in the Cows' end, and uh, Toll is going to try to send us back to the point. Bandai in there trying to help it along. Now the play back out. Uh, Collins has that. And here's Pete Cohen getting a loose ball. Ooh, the Toll trying to send Marcus in on the breakaway attempt. Marcus looking like he's still got plenty of energy despite only playing less than an hour ago and playing a pretty good game. Collins all the way across. No, that's picked off! Alone on the breakaway. Makes the move to the right. And misses, misses the net. Buchanan coming way out. Taking away the angle seemingly as uh, Trevor Reed just couldn't quite deposit that one. But what a chance early on here for the Cows. Now Collins has it and tries to just send it deep. Trista's going to try and beat Van Dayen to it. Van Dayen gets a stick on it. Now it comes back out for Reed. All the way across. Good pass here for Panice. The big slap shot. He did not score in the first game. He's one of the, he's one of the better players on the Cows team. Throws it right in front. Reed couldn't collect that. He sends it. He lets uh, Cohen get it. Marcus loses his stick in the back check attempt. Nicely out, out to Reed. Uh, the backhand wide. Cohen out in back of the net. It's in front. Fosley sends it back out. Panice gloves it down. White struggling to get it out of the zone and does. Two players on for White. The four check is pretty strong right now. Here's Gorman. All kinds of uh, direction from Anderson. And uh, Motalik has it now. He goes behind the net, and he's going to go up the left side. The pass for Panice. Mandel yells ice and then picks it up. Now he's going to bring it around. He's got Anderson in front. Walks around one player. Gets the shot right on. And Sito handles that one. Three, three shots on goal here early on. Okay, face off. That's bounced around. Parsons trying to get control. Here's uh, the helmeted Andrew Till. He sort of bats it out of the zone. The backhand attempt uh, by Mandel. And now West sends it up the boards for Doherty. He brings it down the side. Chases and dumps. Uh, dumps and chases, I mean. <laughs> Here's Parsons with it. Going behind his net. No, he's got Doherty on him. Till picks that one off. Throws it in front for Doherty. Till, one of the heroes of the first game, getting the first two goals in that one. Two pretty nice goals, too. Now they battle behind the net there. Till reaching in for it. And Mandel sends it to the corner here for Parsons. He's got Doherty on him. Sends it back for Foslian. He's got Mandel on the far, on his far right. Sends, uh, draws attention, sends it to Parsons, who loves to take the long distance. Big windup. And that is sent back to the middle. Actually, back to Parsons here. He's got Doherty on him. Heads back to his net. Little pass here for Foslian. He's got Colvin. Fakes a shot. Then takes one. Defense here for Black. Trying to find someone to set up, but couldn't. Foslian actually tips this right to Till. The shot right on. 
Well, actually, right now, not on at all. It uh, misses the short side. In any case, Parsons has that stripped by Watts. The sh that shot is right on. Buchanan comes out for the fat rebound and covers up. Face off uh, deep in the white zone. Here's Trevor Reed. Spins around, tries to hit Trista at the point. Can't do it. Now White's going to get control here. Toll, miscommunication with Bandet, and Trista picks that one off. It's back in the middle here for Collins. Sends it over for Toll. All the way across for Marcus. Cohen gets that one and sends it deep for Reed as he tries to man the far point. No, he walks right towards the middle and kicks a shot that winds up going on net. Reed versus Tall. Reed wins the faceoff. Cohen with the shot. Can't put it on net. The rebound for Henry Watts. Right into Buchanan, in, who was perfectly positioned for that one. Watts on the faceoff against Fosslian. Jesse awfully close in on that faceoff. Uh, one by Fosslian, who sends it softly to, uh, to Mandel, who sends it to Fosslian. Now it's back to Mandel and over here for Gorman. And there's a very, very weak whistle. Players very confused by that. Almost as confused as uh, referee Mike Mosley, seemingly. Okay, Fosslian versus Penice here on the faceoff. Penice wins that one out to Cohen. He sends it all the way deep into the far corner. The icing waved off by Jesse. And it's Portley versus Mandel. Mandel fighting his way through and around and through and now around, but the pesky Penice stays with him. Nice fake with the kick there by Mandel. Trying to get it out, but it doesn't. it's not out, so he has to try again. Ooh, dangerous pass across into his own end for Foslian. And another dangerous move by Foslian. Motalik trying to take advantage of all this dangerous play. As Jesse yells, sticks down. All the way back out for Cohen, who seems to be in the right place for those uh, clearing attempts right now. Foslian walking in. The stop, the turn. The wrister. It misses the net. Cohen has it. Goes around the net. Sends it up the boards. Here's Panisse. Trying to make the move, can't do it on Collins. Gorman, and here's Portley with it. Looking, 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 it's gonna go behind the net. The pass into the, into the benches for Anderson. Portley sends it back down. He's trying to get there first. Uh, Jesse calls icing, then says no. Meanwhile, behind the net here, Panis is connect, collecting it. He's looking, he's got a point man. No, he's got nobody in front of the net right now. Throws it there anyway where it's picked off by Collins. But now he picks it back off, gets a shot. Off net, but the rebound comes out to White. Here's Anderson pushing it ahead nicely to get past Port Portly, but then runs into the benches. Throws it behind off the wall for Parsons, who can't get it, and Black on the rush here. Across for, for Till, oh, and Falcian gets in just in time. Till tripped on the play. Not happy with the non-call there. All the way across for Parsons to wind up the shot. Misses on the short side. Anderson fighting against uh, the gloveless Dallas West. Now he's behind the net, looking in front. A good battle here with Parsons in front. And he, tokes, he pokes it in past Sito with his backhand. And the Squirrels take a 1-0 lead. Eddie Parsons scoring the first goal of this game, much like he did in the game that ended just about an hour ago. This time uh, from in front of the net, fighting some uh, physical play from a defenseman in front. Uh, turns around and just poked a, a ball that came to him with his backhand into the perfect spot. Nice looking goal. Now he picks this one off, sends it into the middle for, for Colvin. Who throws it, uh, backhander, that's picked off, but now Toll has it. Sends it back for Colvin. Now it's Mandel. He sees Parsons wide open here. Now he has to go out of the zone. Mandel, only tolls open, so he goes over to him. The big wind up, off net. Here's Parsons first to it. Tries a centering play. Watts in the middle for Cohen. Three on two situation. Here's Watts, shot, misses wide left. A lot of shots that are missing the net so far in this one. Nice pass for Reed, back over for Cohen. Cohen centers, and again, nobody there when they're centering. Colvin trying along just a slap shot. That does, that goes way off net. Parsons first to it. He's got uh, Trista on him. He's looking around, checking his options. Colvin moving around for him. 
Tristan knocks that one away. And out for Collins with the shot. Here's Luke. Luke Foslian trying to create something here. Here's Parsons trying to go over for Collins. Does get it there. Not cleanly, but it, now he has it. Colvin right behind him. Here's the shot. Oh, and that misses everything. And is it going to be kept in? It is. No, it's not. Reed now has it. Two on two. He centers. Caught in the air by Watts, with, and he fires it, but it goes off net. Nice play, nice try by Watts. High, deep, that would be an icing. Okay, face off uh, deep in the squirrel zone here. Brad, B goaltender Brad Buchanan staring at a pretty close face off there. That's one by Metallic. Realize both hands, <laughs> both hands wrapped around. Uh, Collins there, no call. Meanwhile, here comes defenseman West who promptly turns that one over to Marcus. Trying to take advantage of this turnover, he can't. Here's Panice, slap shot opportunity, boom, right into Collins. He swallowed that one up, but here's another try. That's gonna be center, no, he's tripped, there is no call. Both referees uh, don't think that was a trip. Comes back out at the center zone here. Motalik and Fossian fighting pretty well here. That's a good, that's a good battle so far. Fossian with a shot that goes wide, and Sito handles a tricky rebound there, and uh, and players upset at uh, what they think should be called so far. Early here in the first period. This matchup, this matchup here. Um, Basically, uh, so you could you could call this the new. Ooh, that was a beautiful shot and a great save by Cito. Nice shot by Mandel and another. That right foot of Cito is sharp today. He's, picked, he's made a couple of impressive saves with that one. Mandel probably wants to take another shot because he's getting good shots. How uh, how long can Cito keep up? Uh oh, and he's going to get a good one here. Oh no, he's not. It's it went. That one is deflected. He's uh, getting some getting some good looks. He's getting some good windups, but uh, if it isn't Cino that's stopping him, it's another foot somewhere else. Uh, in this matchup, with six and a quarter to go, uh, Squirrels up one nothing. Squirrels clearly the the more experienced team here with players like John Toll, Eddie Parsons, uh, Luke Foslian. They got some of the old guard here with uh, the Seawold brothers. Um, Whereas uh, the black team is sort of more sort of the, the new wave of players here. They've got some good talent, but they a lot of their players haven't been around for very long. And uh, they play together as a team for the most part during the winter season. So uh, anything they can do here today would be good for their development uh, as a team. Cito now with this, he sends this out for uh, Till, who puts it around Colvin, but he can't walk through him. Now back into the, into the benches here, Colvin against Trista. Still working against Trista. That's picked off by Cohen, who is in the right place at the right time for these so far. That is holding. Now Parsons turns and just kind of gets rid of it. Cohen has this. Looks over for Dougherty. He th he's going to try his uh, dump and chase thing, and that's effective so far. That actually almost turns into a shot and develops it to a goal for Cohen, and we have a tie score here. Dougherty making that play happen with a little hustle, a little grit. The kind of stuff that he's uh, proud to talk about. Um, and we have a tie score here, one to one. Uh, just a few minutes to go here in the first period. Okay, as they get to start, get set for the face off here, Collins takes a shot off of it. The uh, players on the wall here, growing in numbers, and um, so is the betting. Uh, I heard John Bandayan's, be Bandayan's name being uh, yelled out as a as the next player to score. Uh, Alan Palter taking him for a dollar. Not sure that's the wisest investment I've ever seen. In any case, here's Foslian working behind the net here, trying to get a goal. Oh, it's a good shot, and it's an equally good save by Cito. He's sharp so far. Here's Trevor Reed now with it. Marcus back for it. He sends it around, but uh, Watts is going to get this first. He sent his, sends it to the point. Portley has to battle to get it. He does. Actually gets a shot on net. Buchanan is not going to mess around with that, though. He gloves it. We'll have a face-off. Face-off deep in the white zone. 
Panice right in front, couldn't get the handle though. Now here's Metallic, looking, well, trying to, trying to control it. Throws it right in front. Gorman, if he had handled that cleanly, had a, had a breakaway right up the gut. Couldn't get it though. Cohen comes back, he's having an excellent game so far. It's early on, but he's playing well. One of the Bash veterans here. Now this is sent all the way across by Mandel for uh, Gorman. Again on the stick of Cohen. Right in the middle for Motalik. He couldn't handle that pass though. So it's Mandel with it. Checking his options. Trying to create a, a, an open passing lane. And he gets it through. But now it's Motalik working on him. Oh, nice little, nice little push to get it uh, through him. And then he jumped around him. But it jumped ahead a little bit farther than he can get it. And uh, Buchanan grabs that one. Three and a half to go here. Score still 1-1. One one. Okay, face off deep here. Buchanan staring at it. There's a Black putting on a lot of pressure here so far. Um, in fact, they've probably had more pressure, although they've given up uh, some of the, the more prime, primo uh, scoring opportunities. Big slap shot from the point. That's blocked by Dougherty. Is that going to get through to Toll? Uh, uh, still? Till? No, it's not. Now here's Fossian, almost tripped. He sends it, ooh, that could have been a good breaking pass for uh, Colvin. Doesn't quite get there though. Now it's Till, he's gonna try again on Fossian. This time he hits it right into him. Now he knocks it through. Tries to work it to the middle and he can't. Collins out for Colvin. Rides along the benches. Uh, shot opportunity for Dougherty. He passes it to the middle for Till. Players screaming all over the place. They want an offsides call or something, but it's not happening. Oh, the one-time attempt. That's whiffed by uh, Foslian. And uh, now Till working in the corner here against Collins. Here's Colvin with it, but he can't get around referee Jesse there. Collins whiffs. Till trying to take it from him. Can't quite do it. Players on the wall screaming for something. I'm not really sure what. Here's Foslian. It's taken away, here's Colvin. Perfect position for Parsons, oh! The save, he's pushed off of it. Colvin with another crack at it. Now here's Cohen, he'll just get it out. But it's not an icing, folks. Reed is in perfect opportunity as Black goes for a full line change with the exception of Reed. Now though, the, the breakout attempt here. Parsons, it comes to Colvin. He tries to get it across for Toll, can't do it. Goes in front, Parsons, oh! <laughs> Parsons with a beautiful play, picks up the stick, takes the shot, but it goes off the post. Now it comes out of the zone. Here's Mandel with it. He tries to get a shot, hits his own man, and there's defenseman, the gloveless Dallas West, sort of keeping that uh, out of harm's way. He reaches for it. He's looking as he comes to get it. The ball eludes him just a little bit as he knocks down Bandayan and apologizes because he's friendly. Here's Toll with it now. Sends it back out for Bandayan into the corner. He's got Trista on him. He's turning, he's looking, looking and turning. Gets around her, tries a shot, off net, but the athletic Cito, oh! That one almost actually uh, surprised Cito, the speed uh, that which that came by. He was still on one side, the ball was on the other. Meanwhile, Toll right in front, but Watts is on the other team, so that's not gonna work. He tries to pass across here, probably took it, should have taken a shot on that. That's kept in by Portly. Here's Trista, back out for Watts. The shot, right on! But Buchanan feels that with his uh, with his stick and uh, he makes it look pretty harmless. 45 seconds is the call. Mandel for a breaking Foslian. He turns, sets up Seawald, who takes a shot right on. And we have a whistle here. They're gonna call this one offsides with 30 sec 36 seconds to go here in the first period. Score tied, 1-1. This period going by fast, folks. Just 36 seconds to go as the uh, as the ball winds up deep in the white zone. Here's Fossian, nice passing play. Gorman can't quite field it, but he does get around Cohen temporarily. Throws it in front. Now here's Panice with an opportunity. Time ticking down. Looks like he's gonna take a slap shot and does. He misses the net. Black everywhere right now. Fossian bumps him off. Into the corner it goes, and Foskian sends it all the way to me. But I'm not on his team, so I can't help him, and the whistle is blown. They're gonna call that one offsides. Oh, I'm sorry, icing. One second to go here in the period. 
Scorekeeper offers to count it down. Uh, looks like they're just going to end the period. That's uh, kind of odd, but that's what happens when you have the uh, the B team of uh, referees here <laughs> at uh, at Bash. So uh, at the end of the first period, the score tied one to one. Okay, getting ready here for the start of the second period. The wind picking up, ev as evidenced by the uh, by the famed border patrol uh, boards that are getting knocked around a little bit. Everybody lining up here. Foskin's going to line up on, on the faceoff here on the draw against uh, Metallic. They probably well, uh, Foskin likes to go forward, and that doesn't work. So here's Colvin. Now back out to Colvin. In the middle for Metallic, he leaves it for Cohen. Back to Metallic. The shot attempt. Lost the handle on that a little bit. And here's Mandel. Very mobile. A little bit sneaky. Good stick. Sends it over for Colvin. Across for Trista. She gloves it. Drops it. Sends it back in. Pretty smooth play. By Trista, who did not play the first game. So she would have the freshest legs today so far. Faustian tries to one-time that over for Colvin, who wasn't in the area that he one-timed the two. Now he sends it back out for Faustian. He's going to try the slap shot right on. Cito equal to the task. Here's Cohen, but that's picked up by Faustian. Here's a chance. Oh, he rips it high and wide on the short side. Here's Colvin. Oh, a beautiful pass for Parsons. Oh, and then he gets the rebound attempt. Nothing goes in the net, though, at, at this point. Back out for Colvin. Another good shot that gets through. And that is cleared out by Panice. Black under heavy pressure here. But the score is still 1-1 one one early in the second period. Line change here. Full line change here for both teams. Um, as uh, two helmets come out here for the Cows. And uh, we'll get the draw here. Toll wins that one. Toll a, a face-off master in the, in the first game today. And uh, he's on a winning track at least right there. But um, West now with it. Just kind of flicks that one ahead. Here's Marcus. Trying to make something happen. Sends it into the middle. West again with it. Dumps it all the way down. That is now going to be called icing. Collins tries to get it out. Can't do that. Here's Dougherty with it. And uh, almost a shot opportunity, but couldn't corral that. Till now with it. Tries to hit it into the boards and bang it ahead, but the ball doesn't want to work with him on that one. Now he, now he has it. Trying to barrel his way through. It's a, it's a style that's often successful for him. In fact, he managed to score a goal in the, in the first game today by barreling his way through some people. Now he goes for the wraparound attempt. Oh, that's stuffed by Collins. Marcus going across. He looked. I don't know what he saw, but uh, he liked what he saw and, and sent it there. Here's West. Right uh, for Dougherty. That might be icing, and it is. Okay, face off again. Deep near Sito as the clock ticks ever nearer 4 o'clock. About 20 minutes till the uh, summer postseason began today. Well, it was scheduled to start at 10, and uh, around uh, right around 5 after 10 is when they decided to go pick up the nets. Oh, and here's Mandel with a shot that... Just misses the top right corner from his perspective. And now Portley tries to send it into the boards and ahead, but instead the benches get it. Fossey with a shot. Oh, right on. And again, that right leg of Cito stabs out to stop any scoring attempt by Fossey, who I think was held scoreless in the first game today. And so far in this one. A battle along the boards here right in front of uh, Jesse. There's Portley now with it, trying to make something happen. Oh, but instead puts it right on the stick of Foslian, and again, Cito in the perfect place. That one, he thought he had it under control. He didn't. Foslian thinks he's tripped Watts, but neither referee has raised their hand, and play continues. Mandel walks in front, beautiful feed. Anderson can't put it in. Back out for Mandel. Now Foslian digging, and Cito. Holding on to that. Watts is furious at the lack of a call. 
Even Luke Fazian seemed to think there was a call on that one as he just sort of casually turned around to pick up a stick. Watson, Jesse talking about that. Now Watts talking to Mosley about that. Neither player seeming to think that that was a, that was a trip though. <laughs> Henry now uh, kind of displaying what he thinks is a call by putting his own stick between his legs and then stumbling. Meanwhile, he goes off the sidelines there. Pretty upset, but the faceoff is going to go on and uh, we're going to get four and four play here. Here's Motalik hustling for a loose ball. Trying to set up something in front. It gets through to Cohen. It gets back through to him, but it goes right by him. And now here's Colvin. He tries to send out. Oh, that could have been a breakaway if that had been corralled by Toll. Instead, it's a uh, it's an icing. And uh, there's a whistle. So it was about five and a half hours ago that this uh, that this tournament began, if you will. And it goes on with. Um, Nobody having an advantage right now. Score tied one to one. Toll going back for it, finding Colvin. He'll take a long distance shot. He misses on the short side. It comes out to Parsons. He tries for a redirection play. A nice idea, but it doesn't work. And now Black is gonna come out with this. Looking to center this. It goes off of Panice. Here's Motalik trying to get a shot. Out to Panice, the shot. High and wide, but right in front, and it goes in! It goes in the first time, and if they weren't sure about it, it certainly went in the second time. No question that that was a goal. Mosley right on top of that. I'm not sure how it went in, if it was, if it went in through the short side, but I know it hit the top corner of that net. No question about it. And um, suddenly, it looks like White's in trouble. They're down two to one. Matt Sweden with a, with a goal on that one. He's been a scrapper today. That's his first goal of, of the day. And now Foslian really really looking to push now for a goal here as uh, the white team is down. This, this, this would be considered a mild upset of sorts if, uh, if Till's team can take this one. They, uh, they're in the lead right now. As he goes back and tries to set up a play here, Dougherty pushes ahead into the corner. This is where he's pretty good. This is where he prides himself. Throws it into the back of the net for West. It's pinching up. Till taking his position at the point. West out for Dougherty, knocks it out of the air. Then back down, there's a rebound. Seawald sends it behind the net though. Here's Mandel, he comes out with that pretty nicely. He's got Marcus on the right side, sends it to him. Lefty to lefty, lots of lefties on the white team today. And uh, Jesse's gonna call that one on offsides. We'll have a They'll have a stoppage. All right, so now we have a face-off here. If uh, Jesse is ready to drop this. Still awfully close in that face-off circle when he drops it. Interesting style. That's kicked ahead by Gorman. As White continues to battle for the equalizer, Cito comes out and says, no more of that, and we'll have another face-off deep in the black zone. Okay, Fossil on the face-off. He wants to win this back to Collins. Looked right at him, gave him the sign. Doesn't work though. Now Till, working alone against Collins, pushes it ahead, one hand, throws it back in front. Nope, that's eaten up by Collins. He sends it ahead for Anderson. Working against Trista. Trista comes out with that. And here's Gorman, trying to get it back to Anderson. That doesn't work, then he just throws it in the front. That doesn't work either. Anderson alone, on the side of the net, tries to find someone, really can't do that. Here's Fossian, bounces off his chin. He turns, the backhand right on, Cito's there, oh no! And, he, and uh, Fossian buries his own rebound. I believe that's his first goal of the day, and that knocks the score up at two. Here, uh, about midway through the second period. Nice play by Luke Fosley in there as he uh, collected his own rebound. Very quick reflexes on that. Went high into the top uh, shelf area. And uh, we have a tie score here, two to two. Toll on the faceoff. Beautiful faceoff victory for him. Now comes out to Parsons as White tries to set up. And go ahead, oh! And that, that sort of pushed, pushed around by Sweden. It almost didn't work out for him, but it did. And, um, Mandel under some pressure, 
but that never seems to concern him. He's got the moves, he's got the confidence, it comes back out to him, takes a shot right on. Cito has it. Struggles to hold on, but he dies. We'll have a face off. Here's Toll, trying to go back for Mandel. Hits his own foot though. Two on one, if they can get it organized, they can't. Here's Cohen now with it, with the loose change. Pushes it up to Watts, back right onto the stick of Cohen. He tries to send it across for Sweden. he can't do it. Sweden now there. Gets it past Parsons, but can't get it past Colvin. Back down for Parsons, but he's, got, he's alone. Finds Colvin with the shot, that's swallowed up. Sweden, no, it's Parsons taking it away. Trying to, trying to get it back to Colvin. The lefties are working fine together today. Reed can't push it through the defense of Toll, who sends it ahead. Here's Cohen. He'll take a shot. Woo! That was actually a, a better shot than I think Buchanan was ready for. And that's pushed down. Now Sweden gets there. He sets into, sends it back into the zone for, for Reed. He gets it out of the zone. Now White sends it back for Marcus. He's got Bandayan in front. It eventually gets to Bandayan. Back for Foslian. And now here's uh, Watts. Marcus on him hard. Watts sends it into the middle. Picked up by Foslian. Here's Mandel. Reed there. Back out for Watts. He takes a shot and a tricky shot. Foslian thought he was going to be able to get that, but he couldn't. And I don't think Buchanan was ready for that. I'm not sure if he saw it. It was a low shot. It hits the bottom right side. And again, the Land Sharks. Uh, taking the initiative here, again taking the lead. Now they're up 3-2. to two. And uh, as this game goes on, both of these teams have have, uh, have played a lot of hockey today. They're going to be getting tired. you got to be thinking that uh, some attrition and fatigue is slowly starting to set in. It's going to be tougher to come back if you are down as uh, time goes on. Face off now. The shot. Goes off net. You'll know that these teams are getting tired when you start seeing more and more long distance slap shots. That's generally a sign of fatigue. Meanwhile, there's the battle in the benches there. West comes in and he gets it out. Not all the way though. Or does it go all the way? Yep, that does go all the way. There's Collins all the way across. Dangerous pass, but Fossian has it. He's knocked off the ball. Gorman, ooh, goes to that far, uh, to that right foot of Cito. That goes now right in front of the net. Collins with that, right up the middle. Perfectly tipped for Fazian. Cito coming out, making sure that nothing else is going to happen. Okay, face off here. Anybody's ball, now it's nobody's. Okay, face off at the far end of the rink again. Black trying to get it out. It's, it's kept in. There's Trista trying to get that out. Here's Colvin working on Trista. Throws it in front. Goes through everybody though. And that's actually going to clear the zone and White's going to start over. Collins to uh, Parsons. He's trying to get it deep. Can't do that. Out for Collins. Thinks about a shot. Sends it over to Toll. He does get one off but that one's blocked by Panisse who likes to dive and scramble and uh, get a piece of anything that he can. And uh, he's certainly successful more often than not, just as he was right there. One, one of the uh, Peskier veterans, one of the Peskier forwards here in Bash, David Panis. Meanwhile, Sweden back for this one. He's trying to set something up. But, uh, oh, it does, kind of, does somehow it gets to Till. He gets a shot on. Parker's going to get this first, though. He centers. Nobody there but Black. Back out for Till. Throws it in the middle. It bounces. Comes to Mandel. The big slapper. Oh, and Cito showing that the other leg, just as quick and nimble as the, uh, as the right foot. Now Dougherty dumping and chasing. That's his thing. But Mandel's going to get there this time. And he, under pressure, he gives it up. The rebound. Toll, right off the rebound, tries to fire a shot. Not sure what the call is on that, but uh, offside, side stick, take your choice. I'm not sure. Face off deep in the white zone here. Woo, that's a good shot. Poorly with a good shot that uh, Buchanan managed to see somehow. Here's Cohen with a chance. Right on net. Now here's Fossilian. 
Oh, that moved a little bit in the air. It didn't look that dangerous at first, but it did have some movement on it, and Cito responded well. Foskin now takes this, moves it around another guy. Here's Cohen trying to clean up the mess, and he dies. Collins coming back in, looking. He's going to go up the boards, but Portly is there. Portly, Adam Portly, who says, don't call him Portly. Cohen, meanwhile, sending it up the boards. Collins with a whiff. Under heavy pressure. Gets it to Bandayan. There's no icing on that one. Portly sending it up here for Watts. The always running Henry Watts. But they're going to call that icing or offsides. I'm not even sure. Face off in the far end once again. Comes out to West. Pushes it ahead, but Parsons keeps that in. Now it's West against Fossilian. West sends it back up. Not wasting any time. Parsons with it. The long distance slapper. Hits Fossilian. He's behind the net. Working on West. Sends it over for Gorman. Back out for Fossilian. And it goes, it leaves the rink. And there's a whistle. 319 to go. 3 to 2 lead for Black. And we've got a bad face off. Jesse ready to admit that that was his bad. We'll face that one off again. Here's the draw. Fossilian versus Reed. Fossilian wins that one, gets it back to Parsons. Under heavy pressure, trying to get it to Fossilian, and he does on the second try. Here's the big shot. That goes uh, far, far, far away from everything. Meanwhile, it comes back. It's, it's a perfect breakout pass for Black. But, uh, and Watts sending someone out of the zone. Sends it across for Reed. Right in front. Here's, here's West. And uh, Buchanan gloves that sort of wild looking uh, swing. And we have another stoppage of play. Face off here in the near side. West right off the face off. Hits a body somewhere. Now Mandel working against Panice. And Metallic. Trying to go off the boards, he does. Here's Anderson, he tries to get it, just to send it deep. And he succeeds at that. Here's Cohen, he's gonna go around the net, but he's got more pressure on him maybe than he realized. He had two, two players on him. But he does get it out of the zone. Ooh, that bounces up on Mandel, who is trying to set it up maybe for, for a shot. Now here's Mandel, again, poking it into the corner, but Motalik has position on him. Goes off the wall to Panice, he's gonna go back for, Meta for Metallic. Too many lefties on that play, though, so he couldn't get the shot he wanted. Metallic bumping into Toll. Toll uh, getting up, picking up his stick. We have an icing on that play with 2.13 to go. Toll versus Till on the faceoff. Toll wins that one. And uh, Trista fetching this one. But Colvin trying to take it from him. No, he can't. Trista showing some good quickness there. Collins keeping that in. Parker knocking it down out of the air. Looking around, trying to find someone to give it to. Works around Trista. Throws it in front for Parsons, but there's just too many black players around him. Now here's Sweet on. Cuts to the middle. Driving towards the net. The power move play. Till trying to keep that in. It almost floats on net, but it doesn't. Here's Dowerty now in the corner. All the way back out at the other end. Here's Colvin, Colvin with it for Parsons. The shot right on. Cito struggles to uh, gain control, but he has it. Black still in the lead, 3-2. to two. one thirty-six to go. Okay. Fossilian on the faceoff here. Trying to go back to Parsons. It's going up against Dougherty. 96 seconds. It goes to Parsons. He gets a shot right on. And it's trapped under the knee of uh, Wayne, goaltender Wayne Cito. Another faceoff here. Eddie trying to get even closer to the wall because when Fossian wins it, it goes all the way to his far right, which is his backhand. Now it comes back out to him at the point. Parsons trying to throw it back into the corner. Can't do it. Sweet end. Working well on, on Parsons. Trying to get around Colvin. He does. He's, he's got a man in front of the net. Puts it. Oh, that goes across the chest of Buchanan. Uh, but now it's going to go harmlessly out of the zone. Good opportunity for Black to, take, to, uh, to get the... Uh, the second goal it needs to uh, to really put a hurt on the white team here. Just about a minute to go here as in the, in the, as the faceoff is ready to be dropped. Mandel has this one. Up with his backhand along the boards for Marcus. He tries to cut around Cohen. Can't do it. Cohen tries to go into the middle for Watts. 
That's an interesting matchup so far. Marcus wide open in the middle, and he's found, and he tries to take the shot immediately, can't get it on net. It bounced up on him, didn't have the control he wanted. Beautiful pass, Falcian back in, couldn't walk it up the way he thought he was going to. And Falcian is really furious, furious at a uh, few things. The nice pass he just made to Marcus that didn't even develop into a shot on goal. His, uh, his attempt to walk it in and try to bury it into a corner. Uh, two great opportunities there to even it all up. And uh, neither one working out uh, the way they wanted it to. And uh, he's not happy about that, folks. Okay, the faceoff here. Toll going now back to Fossey and they're going to try to. Oh, perfect. The big ripper. Oh, right on net. And the rebound goes through him. But Zito with those cat light -like reflexes turns around and stops it before it can reach the line. An excellent example of a great shot and great goaltending right there. They're going to try this one again. You win a faceoff like that and you get a great shot off of that, you are really motivated to win it just the, just the way you did before. Here's Faustian with Reed all over him. Here's Toll. He's going to try the shot. Oh, and that turned or curved in the air on Cito, I think. And now here comes Sweden with the move around Parsons. He tries a little tricky shot. That's uh, tipped for Marcus. Back over for Parsons. He's working on Portly. Trying to find somebody. The countdown begins. Eight seconds here in the second period. Looking for the equalizer. Parsons! To, I think, Marcus who hits the top right corner of the net, and that's when, <laughs> and that is typically when Parsons is about to about to come through. He's not uh, known for the quantity of, quantity of goals that he might score, but he is a clutch scorer. He does come through in the, in the postseason. He sets things up, he makes things happen, he's colorful, and this time uh, he did it. And uh, we have a tie score here. Uh, one of the worst things that they say can happen to you in hockey, a goal in the final minute. And uh, that's what's happened here to Black. Black, no stranger to heartbreak uh, in the winter batch season. And uh, we're going to see how, how they come out of this one. That's definitely a, a, a character test right here. So we'll see how they come out of this, if they can respond. Just eight seconds to go here, folks. But uh, they're going to have to regroup, try to figure out how they can get another goal. Till's been pretty quiet so far for them. So that's probably an encouraging sign that, uh, that you keep, in theory, Woo, he has another goal to come as uh, Buchanan takes care of that one. And uh, we end the second period tied 3-3. Three to three. Okay, we have a correction on the score sheet here. That last goal was actually scored by Fosslian. That's his second in this game. Must have been his backhand that actually hit that. Meanwhile, White with control early on here in the third period. The score is nodded at three. Oh, the nice feed. Oh, Parker still with it. The net's off. Fousey going across for nobody except for Black. Here's Dallas West. And obviously a stranger to offense. Not sure what to do with that. He just sort of backhands it ahead. But at least there's a faceoff for Black. Hey, face off uh, in uh, deep in the white zone. Penice with it right off the face off. Nice backhand attempt. Not sure if that was on net or not, but uh, it was a good try. It was labeled to the uh, top right corner area, but uh, Buchanan gets that. We'll have another face off. Okay, that face off controlled by nobody really. Here's Colvin with it going up against Sweden. He's going to get here first. He does not want to go behind, despite what West is telling him. So now here's Metallic trying to send it across, and he dies. But Parsons has it now. He gets past the uh, stick check of Panisse once and twice. Oh, tries to cut in front, but Panisse isn't having that one. Here's Fossian against Metallic. He's known for that one. That's a good, strong hit. Two big bodies there, two big, strong guys. Uh, neither one making a big deal out of that. At least not as big a deal as the wall is making. <laughs> Uh, as the uh, as the throng of maybe a dozen or so uh, bash players here really enjoyed seeing the action on that one. Uh, Trista going over there to fix up the boards, but uh, neither player seeming to be too upset. Nobody hot-headed about that, and uh, 
Referee's smiling a little bit. Both players uh, go off, and uh, we have face off. Till with an opportunity, the slap shot. Oh, and that misses to the far side. Here's Trista coming in to collect this. Jesse's going to call this icing. All uh, right, I guess both referees did. Dowdy in the face off against Toll. And he actually helps Toll win that one on accident. Toll with the big slap shot. Didn't get what he wanted on it, but it did get turned into a shot on net. Now Cohen there, but Marcus takes it away. Right in front for Toll. Oh, he misses on the far side. Here's Bandayan, falling, diving. Oh, Toll misses on the backhand, but just barely. And that one goes out of play. Face off here goes out to Luke, going for the hat, hat trick, the, the rebound, and Cito doesn't know where it is. Anderson all over it, but he couldn't get a stick on it. And uh, harmlessly, well, not harmlessly, but, but out of play for the moment. Here's Faustian looking for that third goal. All alone in front, he finds Gorman, another foul rebound. Anderson on top of this. Out for Toll, the one timer. No, he misses it off of Till, who hustles to the corner, trying to find somebody. He finds the point. And where that's where Trist is. She sends it back over to him, then tries to get open. Thrown in front. There's that Dougherty. He throws it back the other way. Till with it now. Trist is trying to be open for him. He tries the shot that goes off of Fossil. And there's Dougherty. Toll. Looks like White getting a little bit tired here. They're not being very aggressive on their defense. Here's uh, Dougherty for a, for a streaking Cohen alone for Till. Oh! And it goes over the net. He knew he had to go high, but he went a little too high on that one. Now here's Dougherty. Again, a soft uh, a soft check by the defense here of John Toll. And uh, Dougherty's not going to come out of that exchange with the ball here. Tries to get a shot on net. He doesn't. Fossium picks it off and rips the shot. Tries to go on net. Doesn't. So it's an icing. So my, uh, my sideline reporters are telling me that uh, nobody had Luke in the, uh, in the, wall, in the wall gambling uh, ring over here. Uh, he has two goals now and uh, nobody had him. So do with that what you will. Falcia now uh, missing on the pass. As, uh, and that turns into a great shot opportunity for Portley, but he misses the net. And White under serious, tr under serious pressure here, having some problems in their own end, but now Parsons for a breaking Fossian. He tries to walk in and around, but he can't can't do what he wants with that backhand. Now he's going up against West and Portly. That's too much for him this time. Here's Collins with the shot. That goes behind the net. Parsons alone there. He wants to he wants to give it to Fossian. Throws it right in front, right through the crease. Here's Collins with a slap shot. But a, a diving Henry Watts eats that one up. It goes down to the side here for Trevor Reed. He runs over it. But now it comes to Sweden, going for a second goal off of something, not the goalie, and then off the uh, back of the wall. Here's Portley with it now, going into the corner, trying to get it through. He does. Sweden hustling to keep it in. He does. And here's Reed with some time. And again, a, a, a soft a soft defensive uh, check here, or posture by the white team. They're obviously tiring. And uh, Colvin can't keep that out. Oh, but Portly too slow on that, so Colvin can return. No, now here's Reed with a great shot opportunity right onto the stick of Buchanan, who handled that with, with uh, a lot of confidence. Here's Reed with a backhand attempt, the shot right on the rebound. Oh, and that comes out of the zone finally. Portly throws it into the middle under pressure. Here's Parsons all alone. This is where he's at his best, and that's how Parsons does it. <laughs> it's a clutch it's a clutch opportunity sometimes they're pretty sometimes they're ugly but he's pretty consistent when uh, when when things get tight and uh, Cito doing everything he could he made he made a good play the first time but he, he, he couldn't he couldn't if he was a little bit taller maybe a little bit longer uh, maybe he could have stopped the rebound uh, nonetheless the experienced uh, uh, play of the white team coming through here. This is the kind of thing that the black team has often experienced here in, in the winter batch season. Uh, they, they play a good game. They, uh, they, win, some, they win some games, uh, but sometimes they struggle in the important ones. They can't seem to close some teams out, and that's kind of what's happening here. In any case, now it's, uh, as we get back to the action, Panisse lining up against uh, Fosslian, and uh, Fosslian wins that one. This is working out really well to the advantage of White. They have the lead. They can continue to sit back, and now it ha now Black has to really push and maybe maybe tire themselves out as as this third period extends. 
The nice, uh, the nice centering feed for Bandayan, but it doesn't work out. Now Metallic gets the best of Fossian on that one. Then he trips Bandayan. No call. Oh, there is a call. He takes the shot. No, there isn't a call. <laughs> Je uh, referee uh, Jesse had his arm up. Then he had it down. And um, I don't really know what he was thinking there or what, what he was looking at. But in any case, play goes on. Fossian never stops running, no matter how tired he is. And he's working with Panice, another hustler there. Definitely two different styles of players, but they're both guys with a lot of heart and a lot of hustle. And uh, now Motalik with the ball. Tries to center that and does, but uh, Panis can't get a handle on that one. So here's Marcus with it, throwing it high and deep, and it's a perfect lob for, for Bandayan. A good centering feed, but Cohen playing excellent defense, excellent body position on Foslian. Back across Bandayan for Marcus, but he misses the net. The rebound right in front. Oh, that's picked up once, twice. It's knocked out of the out of the crease by Cohen. No call on that play. Here's Collins back in front for Bandayan. White, uh, Black still in all kinds of trouble. Cohen without his stick. Now he kicks it. It does get out of the zone as uh, goaltender Wayne Cito picks up Cohen's stick for him. Meanwhile, back at the other end, Dougherty with a broken stick. Oh, that's too bad because he had stolen the ball from Marcus and uh, was, is now forced to drop his stick. I'm not sure uh, what the call is, but uh, everybody on white yelling at somebody to come off. I don't know if they were yelling at goaltender Brad Buchanan to come out because they thought there was a penalty. I didn't see the arm of, uh, of either ref go up. There is a conversation about that, though. Uh, Dougherty didn't actually drop the stick immediately, which is the rule, but I'm not sure that he held it long enough uh, for it to actually be a, a penalty. Well, we're getting the call here now from referee Mike Mosley. He's telling us it is a penalty. I think he... Uh, uh, and now, no. Now uh, Mandel is complaining about the Cohen pickup and batting out of the crease. Um... And the referee is going to look this one over here as, uh, as Anderson helps him. I'm sure uh, the ever helpful Anderson is going to have a few uh, tips for the referee. As uh, Jesse pointing it twice. And it does appear to be that it's going to be two calls. One on Anderson for holding. And I'm not sure who the other one's going to be on. Unprecedented three on three action, I think, coming up. Oh, because it went on. It, it went against. I think he called two penalties. Jesse saying he had one call, one arm up in the air for one call, and then he saw another one. So when he put the other one up, it's a touchdown, basically. Uh, in any case, Black in the middle of the court, obviously realizing the uh, the gravity of the situation here. They uh, been given a golden opportunity to get back into this one. They're down by two goals. It's uh, it's going to be a four on two situation for a full two minutes. Now, of course, as everyone, as every uh, veteran hockey watcher, player knows, you go up uh, on a power play like this, you have to be very, very careful about not giving up one of your players on a penalty situation right back. So um, we'll see how that works out. It's looking like uh, for Black, they do have a power line, and uh, it's going to be Till Panisse on the, pa on the uh, face off with uh, Metallic behind him and Pete Cohen, who's uh, probably had the best game for Black today, uh, up against Foslian and Mandel. Maybe, probably the, the two most talented players on the white team. Face off. Anybody's. Panis tries to kick it back and he can't. And Buchanan's gonna get this. He's happy to just fall on it. Face off. Eight and a half to go. A minute 54 left in the in the uh, two-man power play. Cohen, no one on him, of course. He's got Montalik open. He's got a lot of people open. Well, not anymore. He's in too deep to have a lot of people open. Till looking, looking, looking. Doesn't really like his options, I guess. Now Black's starting to move around a little bit. He's going to take the shot. Boom, and he misses. Now here's uh, Montalik. He's going to go back for Till. He sets it up. The shot right on into the top left corner. And... <laughs> And he pumps the fist. A beautiful shot. Wasn't sure if he should have uh, if he should have set that up that way or taken a one timer, but he had the time. He uh, certainly had the real estate with uh, with only two players out there, with only two defenders for White. And now this becomes a four on three with the score five to four White.
right over the uh, shoulder, the the shoulder there of uh, of goaltender Brad Buchanan. Pretty much uh, an unstoppable shot unless you have, unless you happen to be uh, a right-handed glove, and he's not. So right now things going uh, Black's way again, and they still have a power play. It's a four and three situation. Although if they don't score in this, it's still not that desperate because there's still some time here. There's still just about eight minutes to go. Cohen working on Parsons. Really nice play there. Sends it up for Panice. But uh, Fosley embodies him off. Oh, and Motalik really wanted that one. He had some time to walk in, take a shot, set things up. But it, but it got by him. He sends it back down over here for Cohen as Fosley steps up on him. He takes a shot. It goes deep into the corner. And now it's in the benches here. Till finds Motalik at the point. And again, it goes either over or under his stick. And he has to recollect that. There's some uh, strong wind now out there. That almost rolled off his blade. It could have gone into the net. Didn't, but it was interesting. Here's Cohen. He's going to try another long distance shot. Way long distance over the fence and even across the street. 30 seconds in the power play here. About seven minutes to go in the period. Actually, in the game. That's P. Cohen now with it. Back out to Cohen. They can't cross the, into the zone yet. Having some trouble getting in there. Metallic across for Pete. He's uh, liking the long distance shot so far. That's his third consecutive one in maybe the last 90 seconds. Here's Metallic. Trying to get this. They have maybe one more uh, opportunity to break into the zone here while they're still in a power play. The countdown is on. And they're at full strength. As we get under the seven minute mark here. 5-4 Squirrels. Squirrels trying to go, uh, trying to pull off the uh, the double sort of championship. They uh, were first place in the league this season, and now they're now they're in uh, the lead here in the championship. Everyone, everyone yelling at uh, at, <laughs> at Malik Kalfain, the uh, the timekeeper here, to stop the clock. Uh, as uh, as Black realizing. That time is uh, growing short, and they're not happy with that. And although it's not as short as uh, as it could be, I guess. Down by a goal, they have a little bit of momentum. With this crazy wind out here, it, maybe that could work to their advantage. They're going up against uh, Brad Buchanan, who's not really a goalie. He's a pretty good backup in, in the winter season. He plays pretty good net. He's certainly uh, undefeated today so far. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you got to think... Uh, any advantage that you can have out here, you're going to try to use. And uh, that might be one uh, potential one anyway. He lines up, though. He's ready for this. And now we've got uh, Reed going up against Foslian, who looks like he's going to go forward. He does. But Reed winds out with that. Nope, now it's going to be Portly. It's going to go behind the net. No, he makes the move on Marcus. Marcus really didn't think he was going to do that. And that goes out of the zone. Face off here, Luke. Fosslian looking like he wants to go forward again, and he does. And he's going to wind up with this. No, he's not. Here's Reed. Nice pass over for Henry. Back over for Reed. The backhander attempt, and it's in the net! And that's exactly the kind of tricky little shot you're looking for when you're thinking about the fact that Buchanan, who who uh, hits the uh, top corner of his net in disgust, uh, may not be able to, uh, maybe, maybe you could take advantage of him on that play. He's not uh, He's not typically a goalie. He's a stay-at-home defenseman. He's a, he's a blue-collar type player with a lot of heart. He's very gritty, but um, certainly doesn't have as much technique as, as your more experienced goaltenders. And uh, that, one get, that one eludes him. And uh, we now have a tie score here with uh, Reed putting that one in the net. Five to five. Actually, uh, five minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the third period. Uh-oh, the, uh, the betting wall <laughs> panicking as dollars are falling onto the court. <laughs> and uh, I think right now, as you see uh, referee Mike Mosley picking up those dollars and running away, I think that's what you, you actually now have evidence of referees actually taking money. Back to the action here. Wayne Cito ignoring everything. He's got his glove in the air. He's not going to let the... Uh, let the amusing uh, antics of the wall gambling operation uh, uh, or the mostly pocketing the, the seeming winnings <laughs> affect his concentration right now. Mandel with a shot opportunity just risks it and Cito has that but 
He doesn't look confident on that. You know, with all this wind out here, that ball's uh, twisting and turning and bouncing a little bit more in ways you might not expect. It's almost like a football. Five and a half minutes to go here. The score tied five to five, and that's appropriate considering the way the regular season turned out. The Squirrels did manage to take the first place seed, but uh, it was a tough battle uh, between them and this team. Um, between them and the Cows. Um, all the games were all close, and um, some of the playoff positions weren't even decided until the final games of the season. So here we go. Maybe we're going to be headed to overtime. I'm not sure. But that also would be appropriate. Meanwhile, here's Watts, another clutch player. All the way across for Sweden. Uh, here's Parsons. He's the guy you got to watch in these situations. Not always the most skilled player. Not, certainly not always the most graceful, as you can see him trying to get up. But he's the guy that has a knack for coming up with that clutch play. Four and a half to go here. Face off in the near zone here. As, uh, looks like Henry's going to try to win this back, although no one was behind him. I'm not sure if he knew that. And meanwhile, Toll has it. Throws it in front. Ooh. And Parsons right on the doorstep. Well, uh, uh, Dallas West coming in almost a second too late. Good thing that Cito, for his sake, was able to uh, handle the rebound. A little discussion here between Sweden and Reed about what to do on the faceoff. I don't think it happened the way they wanted it to. Oh, Fossil, and if he was able to get that one, he had it. He had a chance at a good shot or to walk in. Now he's going to walk around Sweden, going to try to get past the diving Henry Watts, throws it in deep, faceoff deep in the black zone. Two, three, count! Okay, the cows uh, look like they have some sort of a plan here. They they are worried about uh, leaving uh, Luke Fosslian any scoring opportunities, any chance to pick up that third goal that he needs for the hat trick. Um, they're also worried about their defense. These are some of the things that they just talked about during that timeout. And uh, Till, I believe, is going to start the period with Dougherty. I believe that was one of the strategies that they discussed. Um, or start uh, start start play here for about 90 seconds or so. So it looks like it's going to be him and Trista Dougherty and Cohen. Cohen going sans visor right now. I think the wind is either too much for that visor, or there's just this, maybe this means that he's finally serious about what about this game. Conversation here. Dougherty going up against. Uh, the face-off machine of John Toll, who wants to win this thing right to Falcian. We'll see what happens for the one-timer. And he can't get it to him. Till trying to go through Falcian can't. Here's Colvin with a long distance shot. Ooh, that goes off somebody. But now Cohen's got it. The very steady Cohen. Sends it to Fossian though. Now it goes out of the zone as uh, Trista supports him. Four minutes to go here. Dowerty versus Tall. They're going to try this one again. Till is going to try to break through to get to Fossilian. Dowerty wins this though. Gets it through uh, Toll. Then he kind of goes around uh, Fossilian. Throws it in front. Oh my gosh! Somehow that went right in front of Buchanan from a very strange angle. And Cito has no choice now but to come out and stop this one cold with 3.45 to go. The wall crying out for bonus hockey here. 3.45 to go. We are approaching that, that magical session that we all call overtime. Here's Panis up against Toll. He wins that one. Cohen sends it down as uh, we get another icing. The bash playoffs beginning nearly seven hours ago. It's 20 to five. Toll with, with finally the faceoff when he wanted, but but Fosian went for the for the wrist shot on that. Now comes out to Panis. He goes high to the left side. Metallic's there first. Buchanan can't get that the loose ball. Metallic's still working on it right in front. Now Fosian has it all the way across for Parsons. Going up against Trista, and they're going to call that icing. It looks like it's going to go all the way back to the other end. Okay, here we go, face off to Cohen. Shot, one-timer, goes wide. It's in back of the net, Watts is there, he's dangerous. 
Tries the backhand, tries to tuck it in, can't. Goalie doesn't have a stick. It's right in front. Oh, and that's tipped out by Anderson. That was a that was a dangerous looking play. That's kept, that is going right back in. But Marcus is there. Now to Mandel. He fought, he hasn't touched the ball in a while, Mandel. Now he gets to bring it up. And he's uh, he's gonna take advantage of that opportunity. Tilk tries to close him off, and he does. The shot right on C though. Didn't see it at first, but now he gloves it, and we have a stoppage. Two forty-eight to go as we inch ever closer to the overtime. Everyone wanting to get to Fossilin on this face-off. Not that it went to him anyway. Here's Reed. He's got the he's got the last big goal, and I think we have offsides being called here by the two referees. That's the play they've been looking for, folks. It finally happened. White had, I don't know how many tries from that side. Toll kept trying to win it back to him. Fossilian kept getting ready for the big tip, for the big shot, and it's a rocket, and I'm really not sure if Cito was able to see it, or maybe it just went too fast for him to close his legs on that. Uh, it goes right between the right between the uh, the wickets and to the back of the net. There's no question about that. And the man that nobody had on the wall for a goal today clinches this with his third one of this context uh, of this of this contest. 2:40 in the period. Luke is going to try again, and he does. And uh, <laughs> and uh, the man no one wanted to invest in financially comes up with his fourth goal. And uh, that one goes. I think that's uh, off the, the glove hand of goaltender Wayne Cito, who was so strong for so long. And uh, two long distance shots, too fast for him to react to. I'm not sure if he's tired. I'm not sure if, how well he could see them. But uh, nonetheless, they are, they suddenly, we suddenly go from uh, looking at overtime to just sort of counting this one down. Uh, Black being informed by the timekeeper, they have a timeout to go. But uh, they're going to need one of those famous. Uh, two-point goals, I think, if they're going to be able to do anything here. There's just not really that much time. Uh, we'll see what happens. They've got some scrappers, but this is exactly the kind of thing uh, we've been talking about up here in the booth. Black, so good at uh, being able to fight and scratch and claw their way into games, sometimes uh, gaining the upper edge on uh, on, on these veterans in, in Bash, but somehow just not being able to close it out. Here's Till with an opportunity. Mandel just dumping it deep the other way. Mandel actually being one of those players who plays for Black during the regular season, I think. Uh, no, check that. I'm sorry. He plays for the red team, but yet, but yet he's a uh, he's another he's another new player in the league. Now here's here's defenseman Dallas West running hard, and uh, Black is going to call a timeout. Captain Andrew Till calling this, and uh, till the cows come home, have a big job ahead of them. They'll talk it over. Okay. Okay. We have a face-off deep in the uh, in the white zone. Till can't win that one though. Black trying to get it into the zone. Can't quite do that. Metallic sees Panice and sends it over his way. He's got two players to contend with. Oh, almost could have broken in. Could not quite do that, though. There's Metallic trying to make something happen. Big shot. Big wind up. Goes off the back of the wall. And uh, Buchanan holds on. Another faceoff deep in the white zone. Black trying to gain control. They need a goal right away. They've pulled their goalie. And so now they have five against the four. Till goes down. That one goes out of play. But that's okay. They'll take it. They need another face-off. They, uh, they need to gain possession. Watts really not happy about something. But then what else is new? Oh, two minutes cross-check on, on White, I think. I think White just picked up a penalty here. And... With Black having pulled their goalie, it's another it's another chance at a power play goal. Yep. Okay, so Black, they can't call a timeout here because they've used both of theirs, I believe. 98 seconds to go. It's a good chance to score, though. You get one right away. You still you're still back in this thing. Okay, five on three. Panis on the draw against Toll. No one behind him. 
Penice wins that one. The blast right on by Sweden. Beautiful face-off play. Mutalik going, whoa! And Fosley and just missing the net. They're gonna say that that was icing, but he's uh, killing a penalty. So I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be icing or not. In any case, um, it's a face-off. And now Sweden takes the net as, um, as I guess it was a bad call. Sweden had no hope of stopping that one. It's a good thing he missed the net. <laughs> he has it. Mouthpiece hanging out of his mouth. He's just going to try and get this into the zone any way he can. Now there's Motelic. Nice pass over for Panice. He takes a shot right on. Not much of an angle. Falcian going for his fifth goal here. Can't get it out. Here's Cohen keeping it in. Here's Panice with a shot. I'm not sure if that's a save or not. A nice move around Falcian. Another shot right on Buchanan. Here's Motalik as we enter the final minute of play here. Sweden, big shot. No, it's not right. It's on. And there's Falcian into the net. There's no question about that. His fifth goal of the day. And I think we actually finally have a winner. Somebody gambling on Falcian. It looks like uh, KG Nesbitt is going to pick up a buck. While it's clear that the squirrel is going to pick up a victory here today. Well, black down by three. They still have uh, they still have Cito out of the net. They're still on a power play. The faceoff win for West over for Reed. Nice passing play for West. It goes out of the zone, and uh, we have a stoppage. Okay, faceoff. Black uh, trying to get some control in the zone here. Dowerty against Gorman. Dowerty backs out. Ooh, dangerous pass for Portly. Dowdy walks across the middle, trying to find someone to pass it to. Sees Reed, gets it to him. He just takes any old shot that he can get. Dowdy pushes ahead. West with a turnaround backhand and just misses the side. 15 seconds to go. They need a three goal play. They need a three, a three point shot attempt here. Here's Reed, throws it in front. Marcus going for the empty net. It's rolling, but it's gonna miss the side. He pushes West off. Marcus really wants an empty net goal, it looks like. But that's going to do it. That's the end of this one. The Squirrels take the Summer League Championship by the score of, let's see here. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I think that's another three. Eight to five with um, five goals coming from Luke Foslian and two from uh, Eddie Parsons, one from Parker Colvin. Scoring for Till the Cows Come Home were uh, Pete Cohen, uh, Matt Swedan, Henry Watts, Captain Andrew Till, and uh, somebody else. Trevor Reed. That was Trevor Reed. That's right. That He tied that one up. Players uh, going through the traditional handshake here. There'll be uh, some sort of a mild celebration. People uh, enjoy the summer league. They don't take it quite as seriously. It's not quite as meaningful as the Winter Bash Championship, but uh, it's nice to win a championship any way that you can. As uh, Jason Mandel, one of the players who has not won a Winter Bash Championship, one of the more talented players to not win one, can attest, no doubt. Uh, players uh, who previously have won certainly would include um, Eddie Parsons. I believe John Toll has won a championship. Um, uh, I think the Seawolds have, have been involved uh, as members of the Roadrunners. Um, so, uh, and John Bandan, of course, who, uh, who, had a, who had a good game, has uh, won championships with the Rink Rats. An excellent uh, performance uh, by the uh, Squirrels. Uh, a lot of things to look forward to uh, for, the, for the coming winter season. There was some good, strong play here. The attendance was up this season, as was reported to me by... Um, one of the bash commissioners um, so a lot of things to look forward to as uh, we head into the winter bash season which believe it or not gets uh, underway in just a couple of weeks they start with pickup and uh, the regular arguments of uh, protected lists and uh, you know draft picks and all that kind of stuff are also already underway so um, as they uh, as they put the nets away and they pack up the uh, border patrol uh, for now, um, nothing's going to stay in storage for too long. We'll see you again when the winter batch season starts. I'm Joey Delgado, signing off for now. Congratulations to the Squirrels, Summer League champions.